I actually don't have any appetite at all. Matt's making a homemade soup. He went out and shopped so he can make some soup. Meanwhile, I'm eating a canned soup right here. Isaac has a huge appetite right now. I put so much bread, like small pieces of bread in front of him and he ate like every single piece. He only threw like two of them on the floor. Homemade soup and fries. Good morning. Um, it's just before 10 a.m. Um, I'm actually on my way to uh, the chiropractors. Um, this is a new office um, that I haven't been to before. Um, I did do a couple of treatments um, at, a, at another clinic uh, close to my parents house, but since we moved back home um, I decided you know I should probably find one that's a little bit closer to home um, and I was able to find one that is um, Just like not like seven minutes away. So um, I'm kind of excited to see how this is gonna be um, When looking for a chiropractor, I was specifically looking for um, On their website, I they had to have mentioned something about pregnancy and treatments for pregnant women or um, I guess post pregnancy too I guess but anything that has to do with pregnancy I, I wanted to um, make sure that I that they had on their website and the reason being is because I um, the reason why I need treatment is because of what happened to me during my pregnancy and after pregnancy from when I was pregnant with Isaac. So basically, I have this pain. It's called pelvic girdle pain. And um, specifically, like, when I was in my second trimester, that's when I started to have it um, pretty, I would say it's probably moderate to severe. Um, it was very difficult, especially my last trimester. It was very difficult for me to even dress myself. Um, Matthew had to shower, help shower me. Um, I couldn't... Um, uh, like squat down or um, you know that type of thing I couldn't like when dressing myself it was hard because I couldn't stand on one leg at one time I'd have to have um, I'd have to you know support myself like hold on to the bed or the chair um, also like coming going in and out of the bed was very painful it's just basically what it is is um, I guess once when you're pregnant your body releases all this um, relaxin or whatever it's called so it's a hormone that helps to relax your ligaments and your muscles in preparation for uh, the baby growing and in preparation for you to give birth because you know they need to make more space. And so what basically what basically happened for me was that um, when I was uh, I guess everything was relaxing and I guess my joints or whatever they kind of misaligned and so I started feeling a pain I remember on my right side of my hips. And then I thought it was just the way I slept. And then it started coming on my left side, and I was like, oh, what's going on? And then I started feeling it in my pubic area. Um, it's a very sharp pain. So what ended up happening was um, when I went to my OB and told her, I'm like, hey, like, you know, um, I'm having this pain. And it took me a while to find out what it was. Um, so I kept Googling, and um, I found out, like, my symptoms were, like, exactly to a T pelvic girl pain and not many um, women get pelvic girl pain so you know when you usually tell a doctor or whatever like when I told my OB she was like oh just take a, take a Tylenol and you can't really do anything about it and so like there was believing my my OB and I was like okay you know um, she was even saying that it'll likely resolve after you give birth soon after you're giving birth it'll likely come back for um, my other pregnancies if I, if I get pregnant again so I was like, okay, um, and then after giving birth, it didn't really go away. It probably went to probably like, if it was 100% during my pregnancy, it probably went down to um, maybe like a 20%. So it was there, but it was like, oh, whatever, it's probably getting better. What ended up happening was about six months after, uh, six months postpartum, 
out of nowhere like within like a week all of a sudden like bam like I started getting the pains again and I'm like oh and I thought it had something to do with um, my hormones because that's when I started getting my period again for people who don't know um, people who are breastfeeding they some like a lot of people they don't get there it is they don't get their period um, for a long time so I was I was just getting my period so I thought that maybe all oh, my hormones are just regulating but it never went like it never went away I thought like after my period would go like after I was on my period that like it would go away but it didn't I started getting clicking in my right hip and then the pain was so severe um, well not extremely severe it came back probably um, maybe about 75% back so that's pretty high anyways I'm just gonna go ahead in now I probably have to fill out some forms and stuff and then I'll update you guys about how the treatment went hey y'all can I tell you I just feel like a million bucks right now like I have no but like the thing about chiropractor adjustments so she adjusted me she did like a full-out like health assessment and I had to fill out some forms and she was talking to me about like my what happened when I was pregnant and stuff. And she was extremely thorough actually compared to like the other place that I was. I just felt like she was a lot more like thorough and asking a little bit more questions and you know, um, everybody, like everyone has a different like, I guess, um, way of doing their treatments or whatever. Um, this treatment is a little bit different because like she used like that kind of like adjuster, like it looks like kind of like a gun or whatever. But um, at the other clinic, I, he was doing it manually for me where he would literally just like have me lay on my back and then just go and like crack my back. I feel amazing. I'm not even kidding. Like, it's, it's like that after every adjustment though when you, you feel great. Like, like, I almost forget how it's like to have no pain. Like I was actually, it was, I was scared. I'm scared it's gonna be chronic, right? So, you know, having like, having no pain right now is just amazing like I'm just getting into the car and I'm like I, I like I usually like kind of like brace myself to feel a little bit of pain in my in my pelvis area every time I get into the car like I'm standing on one foot and like sliding in but this time I'm like oh my gosh I didn't feel anything so it's just it's just amazing it's crazy how like these small adjustments can can help with with pain and stuff yeah like so basically she she like felt my spine she did adjustments to like um, my hips like she put like the bed and she, the like certain parts of the bed like high and then like she like hit me down I don't know it's hard to explain and then um, she was feeling my spine and whatever feeling like my neck and then yeah it's crazy how they can like it's crazy how like these chiropractors can like feel like what's misaligned just by like feeling around seeing your movement and like she'd be like oh it's kind of tender on this side right I'm like yeah like how did you know they were great they were nice um, so I look forward to working with them and um, having my appointments with them and I really trust them so um, yeah I really really hope that I get this issue like fixed because this summer I really really want to play with my, my family's softball team. Last year I couldn't play with them because I was pregnant with Isaac so um, I, I was always so like eager to play with them and like even when I gave birth to Isaac like I wish I could play but I was still like suffering from my pelvic girdle pain at the time and um yeah like it's this like now i'm just like nothing's gonna stop me from playing like i have to play like i wanted to play so bad last year i wonder if isaac's still sleeping because i left isaac at home with matt matt was sleeping and i put isaac to sleep and i like whispered to matt i'm going for my appointment so i told him i'd only be like half an hour but it's been an, it's actually an hour at this point right now so that i've been out of the house hopefully he's sleeping things as simple as like doing this and like this like I was never been a I, I've never been able to do like without having like a pain just to let you guys know that if you if you're a woman and you're pregnant and you have like a pain in your hips like it you just feel like you woke up one day and like oh it hurts in on one side then the next side and then you start getting like a sharp pain like right where your pubic bone is definitely go to a chiropractor because my OB did not recommend this and I wish he did because now I have to deal with this it's almost like chronic definitely definitely uh, consider a chiropractor all my OB all she said was it's a part of pregnancy just take a Tylenol which pissed me off now that I look back at it 
Hi everyone, so we're just pulling up at my sister's work, my sister's school. Um, Matthew and I and Isaac have been asked to kind of be like guests, I guess be like guest speakers. Um, just talking about marriage, um, having a baby and all that for, you know, uh, talking about family life and that type of stuff. So we're really excited, Matt's really nervous, we don't know what kind of questions the kids are going to ask us. Um, it's raining right now and we just texted my sister to say that we're here. I'm going to see if I can just, uh, feed Isaac before we go in because I feel like he's a little bit cranky and we gotta have him on his best behavior. Okay, see you guys inside. Any chance he gets, he tries to crawl away from us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's going to crawl away because he Problem. wants to play. Okay, who else? All right, it's all done. How was it, Matthew? It was fun. Matthew was so nervous, but I could tell Matthew was having a good time. Well, Isaac was smiling at everyone. Yeah. Isaac was smiling at everyone, and he was rolling and crawling. And Ate made this. This is awesome, Ate. You made this yesterday, last night? Yeah, yeah, I made it last night. Here, you can even show this. Look. Work. Pictures. Wow. All their questions are so good, though. Yeah. They're all good questions. Visiting <laughs> yeah, Tita at yeah, work? Yeah, you're visiting me at work, huh? You're going to be in one of these classrooms soon. Yeah. I know. Can you believe that those kids are literally only five years uh, older than yeah. Isaac? Yeah. Oh, wow. Isaac, visit. Isaac visit. Yeah. Is that pizza day? Every, every, every Thursday. Week? What? Really? Yeah. How is that possible? We're on our way home now. We had such a good time at my sister's school. Um, all the kids were asking really cute questions and um, really good questions. Some of them were like, how many times does he eat? Or how many hours does he sleep? I'm like, wow, Like, where did he get these questions from? I was, I was even trying to like count, like, oh, how many hours Isaac sleeps? Isaac is a little bit cranky now because I think he's a bit sleepy. But Isaac, Isaac did so good. He was like smiling at everyone. And when we had him crawl, he crawled. When I, when I put him on his back, he rolled over. It was actually really fun. It was, it was really nice and that we got to share our, our life and um, my sister was like explaining like you know because it's all about family life right and about how like you meet and then you know getting married and like having a kid and like baptism and stuff so it's really really it's really nice to be able to share that and um, to be seen as a good example for uh, the kids there all the kids loved Isaac and all the teachers loved Isaac so yeah it was a, it was a really good time for us hey everyone so it's nighttime now and Matt and I are just making a last minute um, kind of like a quick dinner. This is like my ultimate like favorite thing actually. It's like a spicy like ramen thing. Matt bought like this huge pack so we're making it. It's also good because Matt's just overcoming his um, I guess his cold or whatever. So something spicy is going to help like clear off his sinuses which is perfect. I'm over my sickness, thank God. Um, Isaac, he um, woke up this morning with no fevers. We were so happy, thank God. Now we're finally putting back his helmet on because he's not supposed to be wearing his helmet when he has a fever. And the reason why is because the helmet could actually ca um, cause more heat to the body, which is not good when you have a fever. So he's now sleeping and he's wearing his helmet for the first time in like two days. <laughs> So if you are wondering why the lighting is a bit different, I actually have a ring light. Um, I've had this ring light for a couple of years now. I've just never used it. We, I've always been meaning to use it. Um, I bought it back from back maybe like 2000 and I want to say 2013 or something um, because I was blogging back then. But those days are long gone and now we can finally use it for our videos. Um, so for today, um, we just got back home. As you know, um, Matt, Isaac, and I, we went to visit my sister's class. And Isaac got his first version of, I guess, fan mail. Would you call this fan mail? I don't know. But it's basically all these letters that were, were written by um, 
the students of one of the classes that we, that came and saw us um, saw our I guess little presentation, and um, it's all all to me, Matt, and Isaac. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna go through some of them. I'm kind of excited. Um, we read through a little bit of them, but I want to share with you guys. So things like God bless your family, because this is for like family life, right? So let me just read this. It says, Dear Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Yi and Isaac, thank you for coming and teaching us about family life. I like the way Isaac smiles. I enjoyed the way he crawled. God bless your family. So cute. <laughs> and they do like a little, little heart too. It's like the cutest thing. And from what I see, most of it is like, they're basically writing the exact same thing. I'm just gonna cover the name. I guess it doesn't really matter if I show the name, but they write like very similar things. So I'm assuming that like they, the teacher probably wrote it on the board. This is uh, my sister's co-teacher actually, um, wrote it on the board and they could probably just like copied, which is so cute. These, um, are, these are grade ones and twos. Yeah, grade ones and twos. But I think this is probably a grade one class. And like some of them you can see like stick figures. Can you see that? <laughs> The stick, you see like stick figures, so like that's me, Matt, and Isaac. And then like a lot of them have like hearts and someone like drew us like in, in like a house and you know, the three of us, which is so sweet. And it's just, I don't know, it's just so cute. How did they like write like this? Like I don't even remember writing at all. Like when I was in grade one, like I just like traced and like drew pictures in my journals and stuff. <laughs> Look, and they even drew Matt's eyeglasses and that's so cute. Can you see it? Yeah. All these like photos of or drawings of like hearts and crosses and the three of us here. And look at this. Isaac's first fan mail. I guess that's it. Have a good night everyone.